everybody, Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. Today we are in Luray, Virginia. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's down visiting from Maryville, Tennessee. Actually, technically up. Uh, up. Yeah. Yeah. So she came up with this great idea that we would like get an Airbnb down here in Luray and just kind of check out this area. Well, it's near Shenandoah, so we loved Shenandoah. We, we spent some time there yesterday. And Luray is an adorable little town. We're sitting in front of the visitor center, which is an old train depot. So we're just going to share with you a little bit, a little bit about uh, Luray, Virginia. And as many of you guys know, Shan and I love the state of Virginia and have some really beautiful areas. So hope you guys come along. So again, this is an old train depot, and they've converted it to the visitor center. It's decorated up for the holidays. This is an, an adorable town. Really cute town. All right. All right, so this is the museum. Very, very cool. So yes, this was an old railroad station. And look at the floor. Marked out the way that the, uh, the, the route of the train. Very cool. So that's probably what the history is here. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. Holy cow. So, yep. Anyhow, that's pretty much what you're seeing. Here's a lot of history of the railroading era here. Okay. And they have this wonderful model railroad set up to see behind glass. Isn't that cool? Very cool. And a lot of marquees and some interactive stuff it looks like here very cool Compton trestle I'm pretty sure we saw that coming in very cool beautiful and they have some really nice displays of antique signal lanterns Wow very cool some old photographs of the area. All right, so they have a room designated to the World War II area. And this is a speech by Roosevelt, the fireside chat. A lot of information on the World War II era in this area. And then over here is some um, memos during the time of World War II era discussing segregation and the treatment of the um, colored military personnel. They were very much wanting to support them more and treat them equally and that's what this memo is about. Interesting. This <laughs> contraption here. Kind of hard to see. Not have a lot of light in here but this, a note was attached to this, and it's on a long handled piece. I guess that's made of wood or metal, maybe. And this piece right here, and that's how they would communicate. The train would go through the station, and they would pass along a note as the train was moving. So that was a form of communication called hoops and hooks. Interesting. This is really interesting. Shannon was explaining to me. So it says um, these were available to help travelers make connections through other rail lines to their destinations. So we call it timetables, but it's almost like schedules. Mm -hmm. This one is particularly interesting because it's Alaska and Canada. Very cool. And look, there's one for the World's Fair. Wasn't that in New York? 1939? I don't know. Yeah. Super cool, really cool posters. All right, so out here on the platform, you can see there's the train tracks. And then they have some marquees set up here to talk about the train and rail system here. We have gotten really lucky. We've got a train coming through. So anyhow, we're 
on the other side of the uh, platform now. But yeah, they have this set up so nicely. All right, very cool. Nice little visitor center here. And I'm pretty sure across the way here, it looks like maybe an old schoolhouse, log cabin schoolhouse, some other American Legion, some different things over here. But yeah, it's a really nice little town. coffee here at the broad porch this was recommended to us by the lady who runs the okay, so airbnb that we're staying at and uh, it has some i believe seating out back behind here this cool little building very hipster they live up above it and then they have an apartment down here yeah they might a lot of people do a little garden thing like mm -hmm. yep pretty cool so they do have a walking and biking i guess trail yeah. here it's there called the uh, Luray Hawksville Greenway. And it okay. starts and or ends here, I guess. You can see it through here. It looks like a little road. It's a paved path. It's about two miles long. But you can take a little walk. And again, part of the Luray Hawksville Greenway bike and walking trail. Runs by the creek here. Uh, Virginia gift shop. My grandson loves penguins. Isn't that cute? Adorable. Window dressings. You don't see that too much anymore. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> What's for lunch, guys? Pickles, fried pickles. Fried pickles. Frankie's having fried pickles. And a salad, but that's it. Shannon and I are having bacon and cheddar fries. Yum. Plate to pig. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take you walking through the house. And the folks that have this. Uh, listing this bed and breakfast came to meet us when we got here. This is when you first walk in. It's a sitting room with a fireplace. Very cozy. And she has it decorated as she said how she would want to have her home decorated because she thinks it's very cozy. Oops. All right. And then over here is the one of the master bedrooms on this floor. Gorgeous room. And then off of this is an ensuite bathroom. Full tub and a shower. Lots of closet space with towels. Two double sinks. 
And then upstairs, or I'm sorry, we're going to go downstairs first. This is the location of two other bedrooms in this home. Over to the left is a laundry room. This is a bathroom downstairs. Shower and full tub. And then down this hallway, over to the left is a room with double beds. She said this used to be her grandchildren's bedroom when they came to visit. And then over to the right is another master bedroom. With a full size bed. This also has a nice large closet with hangers if you want to hang things up. She has beautiful antiques and pictures and all kinds of interesting little things all around the home that represent this area pretty nicely, I think. And then going upstairs, we are on like the middle floor right now. We're gonna go up to the top floor. And she's done a great job decorating everything. And this is the top floor with a full kitchen. Dining room filled with antiques. There's a nice full patio out back, and this is a sitting room. And it's around Christmas, so she still has the tree up, which makes it very festive. This is just gorgeous. And that's the property out here. Now, going out back, this is her property behind the house. It's a fire pit, and they have told us if we want a fire, they will come down and get it going for us. Real sweet people. Good morning. This is the sunrise here in Luray, Virginia, at the house that we're staying in. We're out in the country, so it's beautiful, but look at that beautiful, beautiful sunrise coming up. 